Hey, welcome to Flight Tests. I'm Josh, and this is Josh. Hi. And today is a special day because we're reviewing Very special day. the EPP FPV, uh, which you guys have been asking for. We told you we couldn't, you know, release a review about it until we got 500 likes on Facebook. But you guys, you just hit a home run. I mean, you really you scored a slam dunk. Uh, Thank you for your like liking. It was like a hole in one. Uh, you guys really, you really scored a touchdown with this. So uh, we really appreciate it. So today's the day. Well, Josh, what's the first thing you notice about this plane? Big. It is, it is big. big. I think this is the biggest plane we've reviewed so far. Yeah, this one's We're gonna need a bigger face. set. Now, now, friends, I gotta say, you're not gonna see the maiden on this because I couldn't wait. Uh, basically, the second we got this thing together, we went out and we had a ball with it. And I gotta say, it is a ball. For anyone out there that wants to get into their first FPV plane, I would highly recommend this being the first one. Not only is it EPP, which means it's pretty much indestructible, and besides this one being EPP, this one truly is probably indestructible. Well, we'll see. Um, the payload on this thing is amazing. Uh, the way they designed this is that you're gonna need a massive amount of nose weight in order to balance this thing out. And they did that on purpose, so basically you can put big batteries and also lots of radio equipment up front there. Um, basically all of our control equipment is right around the CG and all of our video equipment is up front. So you have a nice long space between the two where you can uh, put your radios in there. A lot of people like to separate their control uh, radios with their video transmitting uh, equipment as far as possible. And this gives you ample room for both. I tell you what, this plane comes basically as the airplane only. It does not come with the servos, the receiver, the battery, um, all that you need to put in yourself there. So sold separately. All sold separately, mm -hmm. actually. It's an Arf. Arf! Arf! Basically, let's go through what we set it up with. We're really, really happy with this setup. You're not going to get vertical on this, but this plane is so big and uh, quite heavy, it, it's not going to go vertical. You're going to have to put way too big of a motor on there. It's just not worth going there. But this power system did power it wonderfully. And what we got here is a 1300 kV Turnergy motor uh, powered with a 40 amp plush and uh, from Turnergy. And all the servos throughout this whole thing. Um, each aileron has its own servo. The rudder has its own servo. Elevator has its own servo. They're all HXT uh, 9 gram servos. The classic $2.69 servos that everyone knows and loves. Uh, even on our Pantel systems, we're using the uh, 9 gram and a 5 gram. So uh, it's a really good system. And uh, Josh, if you notice here, there's- it's got a pusher prop. Yeah, the mustache is on, the, the mustache prop is on, on backwards. Rear. All right, let's go up to the front here. Okay. Normally we fly this airplane here, you can hold this Josh, with okay. a 2200 three cell battery pack. It's not good enough. Not good enough Not at big all. enough. Not big enough. Need more. As I said before, this plane needs a ton of nose weight to fly, and they give you that for the ability to put more weight in there. And I'll tell you what, if you put all your equipment in there and you need more weight, go with a bigger battery, and that's exactly what we did. We are flying with this incredible 5,000 milliamp Nanotech uh, three cell. I'll tell you what friends, this is the battery pack to have with this airplane. If you're gonna order this, spend the money, get one of these. We are having so much fun flying for a good 30 minutes and we still had juice left over. 30 minutes? 30 minutes of flying. Absolutely. That's like half an hour. And that, that wasn't just putzing around at, at half throttle. That was that was having some serious fun with it. Um, it gives you almost a perfect battery weight. As you can see, we have tons of gear up in the front here, everything we need, and we are still able to put this in there and the plane balanced out beautifully. Now, now, one thing you do want to be cautious of is uh, they're going to send you uh, this thing, which is not a real camera. That um, they, they don't send you. They might much. tell you that it's included, but this is not real. This is a little Josh, box, and they drew on it to make it look like that's a Josh, camera. Here. Don't no. let them pull the wool brother, over your brother, eyes. Brother, give me that. Give me that. This is not included in the kit. Okay, okay. you guys got to make this yourself, and the reason I'm going to say you got to make this yourself is obviously test flying. You're going to put all your gear in. You're going to lay out your gear. Take your equipment, lay it out. Uh, take some foam core, some packing tape, and some lead weight, and, and mock it up the best you can. And basically put that on your airplane for your maiden flight. Don't take it for granted. Uh, mock up the way you're going to be flying it, or you intend to fly it. That way, God forbid you crash it, you're not losing a $300 GoPro. But you're losing some lead weight and some foam core and some packing tape. And uh, that's a good thing. It's a responsible thing to do. So why is it that we have two cameras on the front? That's a good question, brother. Uh, basically, uh, a common thing that people do, if you want to actually capture your video image and stuff. It's a big investment that this GoPro up in front is what we do all of our aerial videography with. And it's an amazing, amazing uh, video camera. It's also pretty darn expensive. But what we do is we utilize this top one here with the pan and tilt to navigate the plane and to fly the plane. And then the bottom one captures it. Obviously the bottom one isn't pan tilt, but we can look around, we can see what we want to see with this one. And this will pretty much capture everything that we're pointing the plane at and we know what we're recording. So it's a good way to get up there. If you want to be able to savor it and see your image, rather than recording it back at the ground station where you made a static, or uh, different things, anomalies going through, you're recording it right at the source and you're in good shape. I'll tell you what, Josh, I'm tired of talking about this plane. I want to yeah, fly it. I'm tired of you talking about it too. Let's you you want to see it fly, right? Yep, yeah, let's go take it up. Let's do it. All right, here, I'll grab this. Grab the battery, bro. All right, it's a beast. Wow. Okay. Well, it's um, unbreakable, so. It is unbreakable. Okay, let's go. Okay. All right, brother. Are you ready for this? 
Ready? I am so ready for this. If you guys don't know, proper safe FPV flying requires a couple things. Uh, a buddy, this is my buddy. I'm his buddy. Basically what this happens is, is I'm looking at the hood, I'm looking at the goggles, I lose track of where my airplane is, or God forbid the signal goes, I have a buddy to help me out here. Last thing you wanna do is put this kind of investment in and, and not have a way to safeguard yourself. So redundancy is not gonna inhibit your fun, it's only gonna give you a simple uh, amount of security so you don't lose your investment and also hit things. We got a special treat for you today and stuff. We have two receivers, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take my friend Josh here and we're gonna give him his first flying experience. Oh. Now, isn't that cool? Yeah. Yeah. I get to fly. We're gonna sit Josh right here, and I'm gonna throw the plane, and we're gonna fly him around. What? No, I'm just kidding you. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these fat sharks on him, and since we have two receivers and stuff, he'll be able to see what the plane's seeing. I'll be able to fly FPV. We'll both be able to have a great time. So I can then take my attention and, and talk to you guys. He can have a good time, and then Chad can kick in whenever so, we need to. Wait, I'm not really flying. No, you're not really flying. You're gonna be flying in the airplane, but not literally. Okay. okay, yeah. All so right, that's let's slightly different than what I usually do. So let's get the sucker in the air. What do you say? All right, let's do it. All right, folks, special man here. This is my father. He's going to be tossing me today. So uh, go ahead. The wind's coming basically cross. We'll just toss the cross wind. All right, three, two, one. Give me a toss, Dad. Here we go. And here we are. Now, guys, I'm flying visually right now. I'm going to go ahead and get a one mistake high. I strongly recommend you guys don't take off FPV. Uh, go up, get it trimmed out, get it in the air, get it into the wind most importantly, and then make your transition to the monitor. How do you feel, Josh? Oh, I feel great. You liking it? Yeah, whoa. Oh. <laughs> hey, can you take us down through the uh, the forest over there? Through the forest? Yeah, maybe you we'll pick what? up a squirrel. Our, our, we have a patch antenna we're using and stuff, so the direction will have to change a little bit, but how if I uh, give you a nice view of the house? Okay, yeah. It's a nice house. And for you guys out there, we did get permission by the neighbor to fly by his house. So uh, you always want to be respectful of your surroundings and uh, talk to people. If you know you're going to be flying over their property and stuff and, and around their houses, make sure they're comfortable with you doing so. Uh, there's lots of great areas to fly. You can always find one that's going to be a real nice uh, experience for you and also not take off any of your uh, neighbors around you. And this radio signal is locked in solid. How are you feeling about it, Josh? You liking it? I feel like I'm flying. You feel like you're I just, flying? I, I've never experienced such a thing in my life. Now, one thing I'd recommend to you guys, when you go to fly FPV for the first time, go on Google Earth, look at the area where you're gonna fly, study it. Look at landmarks, look at antenna towers, look at houses, look at trees, anything unique, lakes and stuff, study that. And keep in mind, because when you get off the ground for the first time, especially for your first time ever flying FPV, this is gonna be a really new experience and everything's gonna look completely different from your perspective on the ground. Let's see what she can <laughs> really do. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm not feeling very well right now. All in all, um, don't hesitate to look into this gear uh, for your first experience. It's very, very approachable and I like it. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. Um, it's very different. It's a lot of fun for me to watch and I think you guys would really enjoy it. So we want to thank Hobby King for sponsoring this episode. We want to thank you guys for watching.